If you close your eyes and imagine a typical California landscape, chances are you see many palm trees. But maintaining these non-native trees comes at a cost. The lives of palm tree trimmers are often at risk due to suffocation, falls, and other hazards. Here's number one rated crime newscast. Our top story here at 10, a palm tree turns into a deadly trap. Officials say a man trimming a tree died after getting stuck and suffocated. Firefighters frantically work to cut away fronds to find the victim underneath. 35-year-old Roberto Garcia. Era el hermano que seguía de mi edad. Yo le ganaba con, uh, con cuatro años. Y pues el día que pasó lo de mi hermano, pues... Hasta ahorita se me hace imposible, no lo, no lo podía creer. A las puras dos se fue de aquí de la casa y le decía yo que ya no fuera porque se miraba bastante cansado. Y me dijo, no mamá, al cabo no me tardo tanto, media hora duro podando cada palma. Y ya no, ya no volvió. The California FACE program investigates workplace deaths. We made this video to honor Roberto and to help prevent tragedies like this from happening again. Let's look at what happened that day. The crew was hired by a homeowner to trim several tall palm trees at a private residence. Roberto had done the same work for many years, but none of the crew members was a certified tree worker or had a tree trimming contractor's license. It had already been a long day as Roberto started to climb his fourth tree. He used a ladder to start up the tree, then tethered himself to the trunk and climbed until he reached the dead palm fronds. But when he reached the fronds, he climbed underneath them and began cutting from below, an approach that puts climbers in serious danger if the fronds collapse or slide down on top of them. Roberto began pulling off the dead fronds with his hands, when suddenly, the ring of heavy fronds collapsed, pressing him against the trunk of the tree and making it hard for him to breathe. First responders arrived at the scene, but rescuing workers and palm trees can be very complicated. Firefighters faced serious challenges. Especially when the trees are in backyards, far from the street. In addition, Roberto was hidden beneath the palm fronds, and although fire department ladder trucks and a search and rescue task force were used to locate him, they couldn't reach him in time. It appears that the weight of the palm fronds um, were on his chest, um, making it hard for him to breathe. How could this have been prevented? First of all, Make sure that workers who perform palm tree trimming are trained and certified by the Tree Care Industry Association or the International Society of Arboriculture. If a worker is not certified, they should be supervised by someone who is. When trimming a tree, companies should use a bucket truck or aerial device equipped with fall protection that allows them to perform their work while staying clear of any falling fronds. However, if a bucket truck is not available, workers should use best practices, which include a climbing procedure that places the tree worker above the fronds. Once you get to that point where you have those dead fronds, all you do is kick out a little bit. They're able just to pull themselves up and they're walking on the outside of the fronds. Once you reach the top and you secure yourself, you're able to rappel down, doing all of the proper cuts and the fronds just basically fall off and you'd never run the risk of being underneath those fronds and that's what you want to avoid. Homeowners should only hire certified and licensed tree care companies. Those are the guys that will have insurance. Those are the guys that are gonna have the safety standards. So check their credentials, both to protect the workers and you, the homeowner. Fire departments in locations with palm trees should develop and implement rescue plans for trapped workers, including written scripts for dispatchers, the proper mix of equipment and personnel, including at least two ladder trucks, 
a pumper in case of fire, and ideally an aerial platform, and training for every firefighter in palm tree rescue scenarios. We've been having approximately six or seven fatality palm tree rescues a year in Los Angeles County. This is a truly dangerous type of rescue and we're getting them frequently enough where we need to have good plans and training in place to, to handle them right. Our industry can be one of the most dangerous industries there is out there. And that's the number one thing that I'm gonna be thinking about every day. I wanna make sure that everybody goes home safe. Ya va más de año y medio que él murió. Yo para mí es como si apenas me hayan avisado que él murió. Pero otras personas ojalá y que ya no les pase lo mismo que nos pasó a nosotros. Él está apenas empezando a vivir.